OSBN is about maintaining two frames per box where, which are either empty or new foundation, moving honey up and out of the brood nest and then placing those two new frames on each side of the brood nest so they're right on the, the outside edge of the brood nest and we do that throughout swarm season and th that is done every two weeks and then once uh, the swarm season is finished and we're into the main flow then we only focus on the supers and maintaining two empty combs or two new frames in each of the supers. We're now ready to start moving our bees into a new hive. So we've moved the old hive over to your right, replace the old hive location with the new hive and we've got our second box ready to go to put on top. We have our OSBN frame ready and so let's have a look in the hive. It looks quite full. Uh, it's actually a week or two later than I'd like before starting OSBN. Usually uh, start two or three weeks before swarm season but because we had quite cold uh, weather over the weekend, it was cold just for 16 years or so, so we didn't get into the hive. But now we'll just check for queen cells, but we should be right. We'll start moving them across now. So we'll give our bees a good smoke. Get them to move down. We'll take out this second one from the edge, just a lot easier than taking the side frame because on the side they usually build a bit of burr comb attached to the side and it tends to rip the comb as you pull it out. So we've got these burr comb between the frames. Which I'll just remove. Give them another smoke before we take it out. We'll just loosen up that frame so we can get it out easily. Use this frame grabber again. And we'll see we do have brood on this frame here. And check the outside of that frame. There's brood on that side as well. So we'll place this into our main box. Now we'll check this side frame. Move that out from the edge there. And we can see there's honey and nectar on that frame. So that frame will be going up to the top of the box, in the second box. Move this one over. So this honey frame will go in our second box. So we'll get our OSBN frame and move that onto the outside edge there to open up the sides of the brood nest. Remember to label your frame makes it very helpful to identify that later on. So we'll move this frame over. We'll now move onto the rest of these brood frames here. Give them some more smoke. Again, more brood. So 
So every time we move a frame, we'll give them more smoke. So they've built honeycomb beneath the frame here, and we've just spilt some honey. So uh, they do get a bit more aggravated when there's spilt honey. So we'll just be careful now. We'll have to clean up the bottom of the frames. It always helps to remove a lot of the burr comb from underneath the brood frames anyway. Some more brood. Now you can see on this frame we have a queen cup so we just need to check inside that and see if there's any larvae in there. Alright that queen cup is dry, there's nothing in there but we'll re remove it anyway. Again, more brood. You can see a few drones there as well. More drone brood there. So we're still seeing plenty of brood there. Plenty of worker brood. Pretty good looking pattern there. So we're on our second last frame and there's brood on that one as well. So it'll be the, the end frame that goes up the top box again. So there's no brood on this side frame here. So we'll put a frame of foundation in our bottom brood box and move that honey frame up into the second box in the middle, directly above it. So let's grab this frame of foundation here. And these are our frames of wax that have been put on the skewers. And I'll show that in another video on the channel there. So this goes down the side. So 
So look at the weather for the next week. And if it's going to be cold, put your hive cover in between the boxes so it keeps it warm during that time. There's plenty of honey on those frames and the, and the back edges of those frames so there'll be no problems with honey. And they, as they build the comb they'll start emptying out those frames of honey and uh, making some room in that, those top frames there. Alright, let's move this frame over to the new box. We'll put the new box up on top and then empty out the rest of the bees into the front of the hive. We'll just get these bees out of the way and put the second box on top. Try not to squish any bees. So let's put our OSB end frame over this side out of the way so that when we come back in a couple of weeks it uh, will be available for us. So what we're doing now is moving this side frame of full honey up into the middle of our top box here. So this is our frame of honey and this will go in the middle. Put those frames together tightly and center them because we're drawing out foundation. So we've now done our first manipulation with OSBN. We've found the edges of the brood nests and found they went right through to the edge frame. The edge frames on both sides being honey. So we've moved those honey frames up into the second box and we've added an OSBN frame on one side and a frame of foundation on the other side to encourage wax making. So we have frames of foundation in the rest of the top box and we have our second OSBN frame here uh, as a time delay or as we, when we come in next time to retreat a wax making in case the bees have stopped wax making again. Now we have a box full of bees still. Uh, we need to uh, shake those bees out the front and then they'll move up into the top of the box. We'll put our hive mat on and do that now. We'll just place our hive mats on here. Put our lid back on. Make sure we don't squash any bees. Like there you can see the bees marching in through the front.